the other cutscene makes it more sad, I'm ready. I almost want him to go through the DLC first just to get a different cutscene. You get you get a different cutscene? Wait, so I should not fight Sif right now. Is what I'm hearing. From at least one person. Oh, that's a rare ember. That's a rare ember you've got there. I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? I could produce divine weapons with a flame such as that. Sure. Well, thanks for that. You Not a problem. A decision. You soon shall see. The other cutscene makes it even more sad. Okay, so if I want the more sad cutscene, don't fight Sif. Okay. That's understandable. Crest of Artorius is what I buy. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy it just so we have it. Um, but we don't we don't have to fight him. We don't have to fight him yet. I like sad cutscenes. Okay, so sir, you should be able to modify my equipment. Divine. Why can't any of my weapons become divine, by the way? Why can't any of my weapons become divine? Is it because they're plus 10? They have to be plus five or something? Ooh, raw. Whoa, that's more damage. It's because you made it plus 10. Okay, so what I could do is I could bring the Gargoyle's Halberd back down to plus five and then make it divine. I got so many green Titanite shards, jeezy peasy. It needs to be five, then you make it divine. Plus six to 10, okay. So let's take the Gargoyle's Halberd. Undo Ascension, materials used for Ascension will be lost. Just make the Battle Axe Divine? Ugh. I hate the Battle Axe. <laughs> Wait. I can make the Occult Club a Divine Club plus five? Should I just do that? I feel like this is like universally good. I only have to pay 200 souls and it becomes divine? Plus five? Should I do this? Occult club to divine club plus five? Or is the occult club special for some reason? Make the club plus five, all right, let's do it, undo it. Restored occult club to divine club plus five, okay. And I can freaking make it a regular club again. Okay, 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 I see, I see, I see. And now we reinforce weapon and I could go reinforce. I don't know how much I want to reinforce it. Where is it at, where is it at? Where is it at, where she blows? Oh, I don't have enough souls. The club, no, no, no. Occult is dark. Can I not raise it anymore, I guess? I don't see it in here anywhere. Occult club to club plus five. Where's my, there's no divine club in here unless I'm actually losing my mind. Yeah, there's no club in there. Okay. So unfortunately. Neither of us want to see. Okay. So unfortunately. The Divine Club sucks, <laughs> kind of, but we could use it as a secondary weapon. Um, I think we will take on the boss with the Gargoyle's Halberd and the Occult Club. Can I still, I can still fast roll. Yeah, let's freaking do it, all right. Oh, let's go back to hell. Let's see if this is any better. 
It should be. <laughs> Let us uh, warp to the Tomb of the Giants. I don't know which Tomb of the Giants it's gonna take me to. I may have to run through once again, which is unfortunate. But that's okay. Which one have you taken me to? Ah, you've taken me to the night? No, you've not. You've taken me to the unfortunate one. That's okay. I just don't really know this running path. That's okay. So how much damage... This thing's gonna do, like, no damage, right? Because it's only... 109. And our other stuff is doing... 200? 230? So, killing the skeletons is gonna... Hello. Killing the skeletons is gonna suck. Killing the skeletons is going to suck, but it theoretically... Hello. Is this safe? Is this safe? Is this safe? Safe as it's gonna be. I should probably go hit up that other bonfire. <gasps> I actually wasn't even scared by that. Watch any commentary channels like Cody Co. Drew Good? Nah, not my style. On Fort, we're still fast rolling, boys. Not my style, unfortunately. Uh, I appreciate them for what they are. I guess the closest would be um, Penguins Zero One or One Zero, aka Moist Critical. His would probably be the closest, but I don't really watch his commentary stuff. Like, he does a lot of commentary stuff on Twitch, and I don't really care about that. I'll mostly just watch the moist meter, which sounds gross, I apologize, but it's what it is. Give me some, give me some dang boots. Okay, JK, not, not, not those dang boots. Maybe, like, these. There we go, that works. Critical's a good boy. I'm a fan of Critical. I think he's a pretty funny individual. I've watched him all the way back from his Let's Play days. Who can forget the classics like SpongeBob Botacross? And uh, some of his new stuff, like, like I said, I really just don't watch the... I mostly just like don't care even a little bit about listening to people react, so... Uh, I don't really watch reaction channels. Not reaction, I don't know if that's the right... The commentary, I guess, is a, is a better... I guess it's similar to reaction. It's more, it's more comedy than reaction, typically. Okay. Whew, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. So we use the club... to murder the skellies. They should never come back. WDW? What's WDW? Wednesdays don't win? Or is that the character from Arth Arth Arthur? Yeah, it's an NLSS meme. Oops. <laughs> is it like a different version of the oo face? Back in, boys. Take a drink. Skeletons, where you at? Yeah. Yeah. Still mostly hate it. Still, uh, still mostly hate this boss fight. Still mostly hate this boss fight. That's okay, though. 
That's okay, though. Uh, this club sucks, by the way. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean, maybe that's fine because I think this club sucks and I don't know that I really want to use it. <laughs> I think I'd almost rather use just about any other weapon. Well, I don't want to use him needed. Um. Modify equipment. I don't have the souls necessary. Of course I don't. That would be silly. So I could bring the Great Club back to Great Club plus five and then make it divine. Uh, could do the same with the Gargoyle's Halberd. I think I'm gonna do it with the Gargoyle's Halberd, but I need souls, so that's, un that's unfortunate. John's mad about the Bruins thing? Wait, what happened? He, he did text me earlier and he was like, didn't think I'd, let me, let me find his exact text. Didn't wake up today thinking I'd get beaten up by Joji and Steven about a football team fanship, but here we are. <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about. Where is this? I saw there was messages in the chat. Is it in the chat? I've missed it. I got the perfect song for you to review. He does still do his metal reviews. He would love to review your song. I've decided for Yeti. Hello, I just need some souls. Oh wait, I can crunch souls. Could definitely just crunch some souls. I got souls, but I'm not a cruncher. Also, I really don't really, I really don't want to relive, uh, really don't want to relive Sen's Fortress, so I think we may just go crunch some souls for this. Ouch. Okay, so we'll take the Gargoyle's Halberd back to plus five, then we'll make it the Vine, and then the world's my oyster, hopefully. The backlog is at a healthy thousand song. Are you joshing? It's pretty bonk, if that's true, but you may be memeing. I hope you're memeing, because that's an insane amount of work. Well, hello, again. <laughs> hello, sir. Okay, modify my equipment. Please take my gargoyle's halberd back to plus 10. Undo my ascension. Now make it divine. Divine gargoyle's halberd. Yes, please. Okay. Ascend it to divine gargoyle's halberd. And now, please uh, reinforce it. If you could, be so kind to reinforce. Haha, -ha, green titanite shards. I am loaded with those. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Need some souls. That's okay. We got cr we got crunchable souls. We have crunchable souls. Hello. Wrong menu. We have crunchable souls. Uh, go ahead and crunch both of these, because why the heck not? That should be a couple thousand. Eh, literally. Well, uh, you need Let's finish Modify Weapon. I'm a fan of this. I'm a big fan of where we're going here. We're going to beat Grave Lord Nito today. Plus four. Plus five. Twinkling Titanite, that's all. Ugh, that's going to be rough to level up. We will do it at some point, though. Um, okay, so now it's plus five. So now... Is plus five as high as you can go? I'm guessing plus five is as high as it can go. Uh, let me crunch some more souls, actually, because I think I'm going to use that... that um, the Black Knight's Halberd at some point, so let's go ahead and crunch some more souls, and may as well use the Twinkling Titanite we have on that while we've got it. So, Soul of a Proud Knight, pop it. Pop it. And let's also pop Soul of a Brave Warrior. Don't wanna go overkill, so let's start with just one. Five thousand. Let's see how this does. 
Have you seen Steve-O's water bottle challenge? Let me guess, he like stabs himself in the heart and then kicks the bottle off the water or something? Something like that? I gotta be pretty close, don't, don't lie to me. Do you think there actually could be a Yeti? I like to believe in stuff like that, but I gotta feel like in the today's day and age with all the technology, it would have been discovered by now, so. Uh, as a kid, I did. I don't really think much of mythical creatures anymore, unless they're hiding them. That's a possibility, which they most definitely are with aliens, by the way. Okay, let's take these broken wings and land to fly again. Yes, Black Knight Halberd 1. Beautiful. Black Knight Halberd 2. Beautiful. I need more twinkling titanite. It's okay, though. Do you sell any? No, you don't. You, you just don't. That's fine. Don't get yourself killed. Um, okay, I may... Uh, I'm trying to think if I should spend money on anything. I got 4,600 souls and it feels like kind of a waste because I know I'm just going to go lose them. So actually, yes, I should probably purchase something. It's all a conspiracy. Dude, we're living in a simulation. If you don't know that... Try sticking a fork into an electric outlet. That's the easiest way to get out. Just kidding, please don't do that. I, I don't even joke, Don't please don't do that. Okay, let's repair some stuff with my souls. Battle axe plus five, why not? Great club, sure, you've made it. Mm, shield, sure, you've been nice to me. 4,300 souls, uh, purchase items. Sure. I probably have way too many of those, but uh, it's okay. I needed to spend money on something. Okay, let's continue. I think we're ready now for Gravelord Nito. We have our Divine plus five, Gargoyles Halberd. We shall warp to the Tomb of the Giants, and we'll see how this goes. What's so far-fetched about a snow gorilla if there are snow leopards and such? Why, well, I, I, we just haven't seen it. That's the far-fetched part. Okay, so warping, you should also sit at a bonfire. Although, yeah, it's true, some of the masses are friggin' massive. You ain't wrong, Yeti. In fact, I would say you're right about that. Burger King's, Burger King has tacos? Excuse me? Please explain. America, explain. Please stop. Ah, uh, it's too short. He's done it. All right. Am I crazy or is is this run? Yes, these guys are gonna pop out of the ground. Very scary. Then they're gonna fall down on top of me. Equally scary. Is it just me or is this run to the bonfire? Dude, this run to the boss fight is way easier. Ho <laughs> ho that was so easy. Yeah, we're doing that from now on. Okay. They're f it's a cheeseburger in a taco shell, but it's fried like a Jack in the Box taco. Yeah, but didn't they try the Whopperito too? Isn't this the same company? By the way, we haven't seen Jelly Monster's face in a while. Do you miss it? He has no eyeballs. Um, didn't they also try the Whopperito and wasn't that disgusting? Dude, we, we gotta stop talking about food. I didn't eat dinner tonight since I recorded a bunch and then went straight to streaming. So, we cannot be talking about food is the thing? Man, I'm hungry. <laughs> I don't have any cashews this time around. Okay. To the boss fight we go. We know the running strats now. We have a Gargoyle's Halberd.
Thanks for tuning in, guys. Just kidding. That man is horrifying. Was that the Phantom of the Opera? <sighs> if you're wondering what happened there, I was putting away my lantern. Was putting away my lantern to get the shield out for the arrow guy coming up and taking my finger off of the thumbstick equals instant death. So that's pretty much what happened there. F. F. Ripperoni boys, ripping pieces. This one is a rip. This one is a rip. I hate this area. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I literally despise it. The disdain is growing by the second. I've, I'm also, let me blow your boys' minds. I've never had a Jack in the Box taco. I've heard mixed things. A, and let me, let me also preface this. From people who have a similar taste to me, I've heard they're delicious. From people whose taste is probably a little healthier than mine, I've heard they're just balls of grease. I suppose both of those could be true. It could just be a delicious ball of grease. This is definitely the fastest way to the to the boss fight, by the way, and I love it. Literally just let me skip the entire area. Why am I down on Estus already? Why did I spawn with... Okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Dude, you really... See, don't, don't I seem like the perfect kind of person to have consumed a Jack in the Box taco? Uh, per, the issue is mostly just that... I don't eat Jack in the Box. There was no Jack in the Box in my college town, so I never got to eat it. And I don't know. They're not my go-to, they're not my go-to destination for a burger either. So I've really just never had a reason to go to Jack in the Box. Maybe these tacos will change my reason to go. My, my roommate comes home with Jack in the Box all the time. He freaking loves the tacos, man. He eats them like, mmm. At least once a week, he comes home with like four Jack Jack in the Box tacos and a something. I can't remember what else he gets. Curly fries, I think. Jack in the Box tacos with curly fries. I think is what he gets. Jack in the Box tacos are dirt cheap. Aren't they, isn't like two for like 99 cents? Because I still remember that. Or was that only a, a promo? Because I remember that deal. Or I mean, I remember that commercial with the stoner and a Jack in the Box. Can I get 99 tacos for two cents? Only 90s kids will remember that commercial. Um, okay, the question is what are we gonna fight the main dad with? The answer may be... The Great Club? Twenty nine. Can I clear up that much space? Probably not without getting like com <laughs> completely naked. Because I'm trying to decide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the divine gargoyles halberd to kill the skeletons. But once I kill the skeletons, I don't really have much of a use for it anymore. And I'd rather be fast rolling. And I don't trust myself to quickly go into the menu and swap to the great club. Maybe I don't need to be fast rolling. Maybe I'm overthinking it. The amount of McDonald's and Taco Bell I've seen you eat in, in my life surprises me. I've always just put Jack in the Box at a little bit of a lower tier. So, um, I, I don't know. I need to try them. Yeti's never had it either. If you're healthy, they're trash. But if you love garbage, fast food, game time. Oh, dude, I may... If they weren't repaving my... Um, if they weren't repaving my entire parking lot right now in my apartment complex and I wasn't trapped, I would go get a Jack in the Box taco. And also I've started eating healthy again, so I guess I can't. We've already found micro. Oh, dude, I, side quest. I totally believe in 
there's definitely life on other planets in terms of if you count bacteria. I mean, we found trace of water. There's got to be. Hey, there has to be. I want some little green dudes, though. We don't have grease in England? That's sad. I don't expect a small green man. I just want some sort of actual creature, something with a quality of life or sentience. What if they have, like, the cutest puppies ever in space? I'll take it. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go right now. This is the run. Ah. Uh... Okay. This is the run. Let's do this. Skeletons. One skelly done. Two skeletons done. Okay, that is not enough damage. Yo, what the heck is this attack? Probably a one-hit KO if I had to guess. Ouch. I hate this boss fight, dude. I freaking, I hate it. This boss sucks. Some big old schlong, dude. This boss sucks. Some serious schlong. Oh, I took off the mat. I thought that would be the run, so I took it off. He should be dead. I hate this. We're gonna beat this boss by the end of the stream, I just want you to know that. Mm. Grease is a banned substance, so is fat and sugar, actually, though. While I have some friendly US boys here, what's with US people talking about our teeth? I saw it a lot on football smack talking from Americans, but I've never heard about it before and don't understand where it comes from. I'm pretty sure, cause I've heard that too. The, the stereotype is that British people have yellow teeth or just, I think crooked teeth in general. I only know this because a band that I listen to has a member who's British and when she first came to America, she says she was, the thing she was most impressed by was how white and straight everybody's teeth are. So I don't know why that's a thing. I think from what I understand, I'm so done with this area. So what I understand is that you guys, I think, I think the stereotype is that you guys drink a lot of tea and that stains your teeth. That's my only guess. It's the best guess I have. Status update, job hunting stuff. Yes, it does. It absolutely does, Donald. I, Paul, I, I seriously wish I could help out more, my dude. I know them feels that it sucks, but um, there's stuff out there. You'll find it. I also just realized we have the other bonfire kindled. So even though this is the easier run, I should probably go to the other Bonnie. I should, so like, I think this in general is a tougher run Well, we get 10 Estes for doing it, so I should probably do this one instead. Actual seething gamer range. Oh, it's it's coming back. I was feeling good in the other area. It's back now, though. You have a sugar tax? Get out. That's not a thing. I've had braces orthodontic implants and are getting them whitened when my braces come in and it's all free. Excuse me? Please send help. Forgot about that. We all love tea too, apparently. Uh, and crumpets. Do not forget the crumpets. A sugar tax to bring down the obesity. See, in America, we just get fat and die. <laughs> Which I'm actually fine with. There's only one aspect where I, I would be okay with a tax like that. So I totally believe... Oh, God. I totally, I totally believe in people... 
having the freedom to ruin their own lives if they want to. If you want to smoke, you can smoke. If you want to eat garbage, freaking be my guest. Eat garbage. Am I fast rolling? No, we're mid rolling. If you want to eat garbage, eat garbage. If you want to eat freaking bricks, fine. The only thing that sucks, I will say, is that that sometimes has an effect of lower, I mean, raising insurance costs for everybody. Because it's, it's calculated on a spectrum of the average person. And so if the average person is, un is unhealthy, insurance costs more. Even if you're super healthy. Even if you eat freaking spinach juice every day. As every meal. I don't know that that's healthy. That's the only downside I will say. Is that when your when your costs get raised because of other people's self decisions? But other than that, freaking do whatever you want. It doesn't matter to me. You agree, TBH, dude? Freedom to do whatever the heck you want. And again, as long as it doesn't impact other people. Like if you smoke while you're pregnant, you're probably a piece of garbage. If you smoke with a baby in the room, maybe don't do that. But like anything else, that's fine. I don't actually know that there's even a law against smoking while you're pregnant. It's just like, yikes, that's a headshot, by the way. I don't think there's even a law against it. I think it's just one of those like, you're kind of a horrible person if you do it, so please don't. But that would be something I would be, f if there was a law against, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense to me. <laughs> Cause you're literally gonna kill a baby. So maybe don't. Fortunately, I don't really drink soda, but still. It's annoying if I want to buy a full sugar soda, it costs me a bit more because other people are... Oh, so like a real Dr. Pepper? Wait, so oh, I guess diet doesn't have sugar in it, so that makes sense. That is a little annoying. I've also pretty much kicked soda out of my diet, which is good, but I eat a lot of sugar. So I, I would have trouble, I think, with that. With that logic, you add to the problem. See, that, that's the thing, is when you start, when you add a bunch of stipulations... Ah, that's unfortunate. The more stipulations that you add, he actually dodged it. Not so much that time, but that's okay. You know, thought that counts. You're really enjoying this attack this time around, aren't you? I can, I can tell. Okay. He's still not fast rolling. Not gonna lie, I really thought we'd be fast rolling after that. Okay. So watch out for a grabby hand. Ah, please don't aggro big skeleton. Please don't aggro big skeleton. He's super slow like this. This is not that bad. Ah, that was stupid. That was stupid. That was stupid. Yeah, I deserve to take damage from that. That was stupid. That was pure greed. Pure greed. We still got a bunch of Estus though. Ouch. Like, those attacks are great. Keep doing those. I think I aggroed Big Skeleton. I aggroed Big Skeleton. No. I did not aggro Big Skeleton. Okay. I mean, I just can't get around him is the thing here. So like, yes, yeah, basically like screw everything about that. I hate it. Okay. Yeah, this is easy, dude. This is easy. <laughs> this is, this is basically nothing. 
That was not smart. Yeah, deserved. Well deserved. Very well deserved there. I understand why I take damage. No grabby hand. End him. End him. End him. He's actually done it. <laughs> See, here's the thing. Here's what I want to say about that. We could have very, I, I think we could have done this fight earlier with enough attempts. 60,000 souls used to live here. Now it's a ghost town. We could have done this earlier. It probably would have taken the full two hours, but I bet we could have done this. Taking a detour, getting the items that we needed to succeed, that was the right play. And I will not apologize for it. That was the 100% right play. I'm happy that we, we did it. Life is hell. Okay. Are these large skeletons still back here? Be wary of tough enemy. That guy? What are you talking about? Easiest enemy I've ever fought. On fire. Praise the flippin' sun, dudes. Oh, are we done? Are, are we done with this area? Are we done with this area? If so, I don't know where to go next. I'm actually lost. Holy cow. It should be busy. I'd be okay with the sugar tax, but more from the perspective of using that money to improve society? Uh, I guess. I mean, you're essentially taxing a bad habit. Which I, you know, is fine. You gotta be... Part of the issue, though, is you need to be... I, I think a sugar tax is a little dangerous. I'm like, we're getting like, we're delving a little bit into political territory, which I try to avoid. Uh, the issue with a sugar tax is you have to be a little careful with who are the majority of people you're going to be taxing. Typically, again, this is all just generalizations, but wealthier people can typically afford healthier foods, which would have less sugar in them and would then therefore be less affected by a sugar tax. But I understand where it's coming from, if that makes sense. Coke Zero is right cheaper than regular Coke. Well, Coke Zero is better than regular Coke. Look at that hair. What is that? It's a twig head. God, I love watermelon. Who doesn't? Watermelon is the... F I wish it grew all year round. I hate that it's mostly just a summer fruit. Because there's literally... Leg, are you doing okay? Hold on. Char my, guy's got, my guy has a Charlie horse, I think? There's literally not a time of day where I would not devour an entire watermelon. I guess it's for the greater good, which is fine. Can sacrifice a couple extra tuppences? Please explain. There would be a protest over here of sugar taxes. It would not go over very well. I mean, just look at what happened in New York. They tried to ban a, a soda. Not just, well, that wasn't just a tax. There was a, or was it a, was it a tax or a ban? I thought they banned sodas over a certain, um, a certain, they call it like a big gulp ban, basically. Like any soda over 36 ounces or some 42 ounces, something like that, was banned. And I know people were mad about that. But at least that's, only, that's done on a state-by-state -state basis. Hey, does anyone know what I should level up? Because I don't. Two in the decks. Our currency, shillings and pences and tuppences. Watermelon is okay, excuse me, who hurt you? The only bad thing about watermelon is that weird episode of Rugrats where Chucky swallows a watermelon seed and they go inside him and they see a watermelon and it's gonna explode him. It's the only downside. That's why Mexico has such a high obesity rate. Vegetables, uh, yeah, see, yeah, that's the problem. Sugary garbage is cheap. Um, I don't know what to level up. Um, 
maybe one endurance and uh I wish there was a freaking why can't there be a souls bank? Why can't I deposit my souls into the Dark Souls bank <laughs> to decide what I want to do with them when Mason's back in chat? Because Mason's the one that can tell me what to do. I kind of am thinking one vitality, one endurance just for the nice even numbers. But didn't he say I should raise dex if I want to use the Black Knight Halberd? I'm not much of a soda person, but when I visit the US, I'm a soda person. Is ours better or something? Or because it's cheaper? Let's go with this. Confirm reinforcement. I, I, it's like 60,000 souls down the drain, so I hope that wasn't for nothing, but um, I also don't know where to go next, now that we've defeated this godforsaken area. Um, is there anything left to do in here? I don't think so. What? Oh, that's water. I was like, what is making this sound? You should be dancing. Okay, why can I not roll fast? 23.7. Swap this out for this. Swap this out for this. Hell yes. <laughs> Hell yes is what I was trying to say there. And this is ugly. Do I have anything just as light but more beautiful? 2.3. 1.8 is the lowest I've got, plus 2.3. Let's go with a 2.3. And then lower this to 0.8. That's a much purtier person. There's one soda we have over here that is so much sugar. Did you hear that? Did you hear that in-game sound? Am I crazy? I thought I heard something go, Ooh. I swear I heard something. Wait, what soda has 86 grams of sugar? The Coca-Cola Freestyle Machine is pr is pretty sick, I gotta say. That's insanity. <laughs> we can tax that, that's fine. Is there anything else left to do in here? Just doing a quick little surveillance. I think all we had to do was come in here and kill this guy. And I actually don't even think there's a way back. Yeah, I don't actually think there's anything else to do here. He's dead. Yeah, I think we just have to warp out. Uh, which isn't great for me because I don't know where to go next. I mean, I guess... I suppose we could go back and continue exploring. Um... I guess we could go back and continue reinforcing, um, I mean, continue exploring the forest area. What kind of weapon do I want to use? Uh, let's start using this Black Knight Halberd. I know we're, uh, it seems pretty good. I'm going to use it for a bit. It's called Big Blue and Big Red. Cheesy peasy. Big Blue tasted good. I'm sure the bo the body would think that. F. Do I have a lighter shield? 5.5. I mean, 3. <laughs> 3.5. 2. 1.5. Effigy shield is only three? Seems pretty good. Unable to- what? Why? 16 sparkles? What the heck is 16 sparkles? F. This is super light. 
It only blocks 50. I would like to block... I mean, this blocks 62. Fast roll is back. All right, we're gonna use the spider shield for a bit, and it's pretty cool. It looks, it matches my skin tone. So I'm gonna say we're gonna keep that. That's how they get you. That's actually insane. <laughs> I've never heard of that soda, and I, I don't think I want to. The only soda I still drink anymore is Dr. Pepper. I've done a pretty good job of kicking every other soda to the curb. I do still enjoy, they're kind of weird, but those, um, I should, I should definitely have rested that bonfire to get the 10 Estus, but that's okay. Um, and also I'm gonna have to teleport again. That's okay as well. The only soda I still drink is Dr. Pepper because it's freaking delicious. But I must say I still have a pretty soft spot for those, um, have you ever had those weird Diet Cokes in the tall skinny cans? They have a bunch of strange flavors like guava strawberry, feisty cherry, blood orange. Uh, what else do they have? What else do they have? I can't, mm, blueberry acai, I believe they have. They have a bunch of weird flavors. And some of them are kind of gross. Like they got a ginger one that's absolutely disgusting. But the rest are extremely good. And I drink those a lot at work. Also, side quest, good news. Pl why do you survive? I have good news, and that is that our work has officially started stocking diet orange vanilla coke. <laughs> I've been pounding like a like four of those a day, which is also probably minkus, but delicious at the same time, and I love it. You could be dancing. Praise the sun. Yo, is that in Orlando? Spicy cherry is good. Spicy cherry is good. Except that it feels like there's like cayenne pepper in it. Like spicy is actually, they call it feisty cherry, but spicy is a very good description. It's like strangely hot. It's not hot, like it doesn't hurt to eat, drink. Ah, here's the Hydra. It doesn't hurt to drink or anything. Oh dude, you know what we haven't done yet? Let's go do it right now. We have forgotten about a boy. We have not fought this tall son of a gun yet. Uh, which you're supposed to do a heck of a long time ago. Oh, did you see that, ninja? That was like the coolest thing I've ever done. Freaking backstab through the shield. Perfect. Havel's ring. I was told this is a good ring. Boost maximum equipment load. From what to what, may I ask? 86.4? Holy cow! Oh, 129? I mean, that only gives us like an extra 10 pounds of equipment, but still. 129.6 divided by four. The answer is 32.4. Thank you, sir. Ma'am. 32.4, we can get a little, we may even be able to bring the old helmet back. Oh, we can bring the helmet back. All right, all right, all right, I'm in. I'm into this. We can add some weight onto this as well if we wanted to. Ah, 32.4, we're at 35.6. Dude, but these, this helmet and this armor blend so well. 11.7, a little bit less than 11.7, a little bit less than 11.7. Uh, there's really no good in between. Balder armor, Silver Knight armor. I mean, this is literally heavier, but. 0.8 and one, we can take off 1.8. That doesn't quite get us there. That's sad. I don't think we can rock the sexy helmet yet. 
5.1. Give me... It's pretty horrifying. It's pretty horrifying and I kind of like it. Kind of like the gold armor better though. It seems worse though. Yeah, it's worse in every way. Oh, because it's lighter. We're going to stick with this. Okay. Oh, yeah. OV Coke. That's what I'm saying, man. It's good. All right. Havel's been destroyed. I can't even go to the website for Big Blue. The, do they hide the nutritional facts? That would be hilarious. This is not for mortal eyes. This is not to be known. I really don't know where I am, I'll be honest. Um, I mean, I know, I know where this is. This is where he fought the Taurus demon. I literally just never opened that. All right. There you go. You learn something a little new every day. Up there's where we fought the Taurus Demon. All right, well, let's continue then. We got a decent amount of souls for fighting Havel. I don't really want to die. I probably should have rested at the bonfire in Darkard Basin. I'm actually going to go try to get there now, if at all possible. Not that exciting in here. All right. That man has officially been stomped. We were supposed to do that like a heck of a long time ago. Darkwood base, yes, of course. Um, but I need to go back to the left. We'll come explore this area in a second. Um, the Hydra's over here. I don't know if we're ready to fight the Hydra. That may be out of order. I don't really know what the order is in this game, I'll be honest. Um, I basically just listen to whatever Mason tells me, and if Mason is MIA, well then I'm but mostly hosed. <laughs> So I don't want to do too much right now, and we also, oh, we also only have like seven minutes left anyway. We should be dancing. Thank you for the, the grass crest shield. Why does that sound familiar? That's a beautiful shield is why. That's a good looking shield. I hate this helmet. I'm getting rid of this helmet. <laughs> Put the sack back on. Hey, now nah, that's too heavy. Elite Knight Helm. Mm, too heavy. That's 4.5 or 6 to 1.5, 1.4, 4.8, 3. Still too heavy. Jeezy peasy. Uh, 2.6. Okay. Help. How about a... Honestly, this is the coolest our dude has ever looked. I'm pretty happy with this. Okay. Let's, uh... I think if we continue going through here, we end up at the Valley of the Drakes. Which I don't really want to go to right now. Mason says you should fight the Hydra with no armor. Did... Can you show me the proof? Can you show me the proof? That doesn't sound like Mason. Did you know there's pure LaCroix? What does that even mean? Is it LaCroix that doesn't taste horrible? Because that would be something. I believe this is Valley of the Drakes. We're going to continue, though. We're, we're going to look. We'll take a peek. Like normal seltzer water. Oh. Trash. <laughs> it's just bubbly water. All right. Valley of the Drakes. Because I'm pretty sure... Dude, this, is, this dude looks so cool now. Fashion Souls. I'm pretty sure this is where we got lost. Oh, I can also probably like, we probably don't need these on. Does that save up room? Not a ton. Oh wait, this is, this is New Londo Ruins. JK, this is Valley of the Drakes. Um, I don't know. That's another I really want to try. Wait, what do you really want to try? Pure LaCroix? I don't know if we're ready for this area. Let's find out. I mean, I hate not being able to backstab stuff, but it, it doesn't seem like these, they're doing like a ridiculous amount of damage to me. I mean, we probably will die, but it doesn't seem like they're doing a ridiculous amount of damage to me. 
so we may be able to serve. Dude, there's like so many though. Just LaCroix. You do not want a LaCroix. Let me, let me disappoint you gently. In saying that you do not, you're, you're not missing out on like a whole lot from a, a lack of trying LaCroix. How do I make my Estus heal more? I feel like my Estus, like, when you go through Pokemon, you eventually get like hyper potions. <laughs> I feel like I'm still using regular potions throughout my entire playthrough. It takes like three Estus to heal full. Mason's back, thank you. Although the stream's about to end, but uh, where do I go next, Mason? I beat Gravelord Nito. And I beat Havel. Is Valley of the Drakes a good place to go? Mason, tell Josh what I said was true. Mason, don't agree with him. You should be dancing. Okay. Yeah, there's like too many of these boys for me to fight. Another spider shield? Help! No, come back, come back, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Come on, Michael Jackson. I know they're gonna knock me off the bridge if I fight them here, so that's why I don't wanna fight them here. Keep coming. Okay, well, you know what, we'll, we'll continue exploring. For like two more minutes. <laughs> Cause it's super late and I am super duper hungry. Ah. This is a problem. That's a big problem. This is like a whole freaking problem though. Yeah, this is like a large boy problem. You know what? New Londo is next? Ugh. Well, I'm pretty sure you, can't you get to New Londo Ruins by going through the Valley of the Drakes? But I do feel like I might be like a tiny bit under leveled. So, you know, that's fine. We will, uh, let's just, well, if we're doing New Londo Ruins, uh, contraption does not move, of course. If we're doing New Londo Ruins next, isn't that where Dan is stuck, Mason? <laughs> My roommate gave up Dark Souls because of New Londo Ruins, I'm pretty sure, or at least the boss at the end of the New Londo Ruins, so that sounds like fun coming up. We will rest at the Bonnie. Um, if we're doing New Londo Ruins, then uh, let's warp to Firelink, because that's the easiest way to get there. <sighs> I'm not excited for this area. We're not gonna do it today. This is gonna be the end of this Dark Souls stream. We we finished in a much happier place than we ended, and I gotta say, um, like, we made progress, which feels good. Right? That's gotta feel good, right? Oh, Mason, another question. I'll, I'll just text you. You need to open the gate from New Lawn of Ruins, then you can, but for now, just go through Firelink. Mm hmm. Makes sense. Um. My question, I'll text you like I said. It's Dark Souls related. Um, we're gonna end the stream here, boys. We beat Gravelord Nito. We're done with the Tomb of the Giants for freaking ever. We beat the Butterfly because that was super easy. We got the crest that we can go fight Sif if we want to, but I was told to wait so that I cry. So we'll wait on that, but other than that, you know, the first 30 minutes of the stream were kind of a nightmare, but after that, pretty successful. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks to Mason for the, of course, re-subscription with Prime. Appreciate it quite a bit. And I will see you guys. I'm actually not kidding this time. On Thursday.